When building an LS engine, you have a lot of questions and things to decide, like, where will my bores clean up? How many cubic inches am I going for? What kind of compression ratio am I targeting? What parts are strong enough for boost or nitrous down the line? Hey, it's Carl, and piecing together all the components can be a pain, and things always seem to be just a little off the mark. This often requires gasket and cylinder head modification to hit your target compression. So what's the fix? Enter Summit Racing's new Pro LS Forged Pistons for Generation 3 and 4 LS car and Vortec truck engines. They're 100% made in the USA and precision machined from Forge 2618 aluminum. Summit Racing makes your life simple with a full line of pistons that fit popular strokes, rod lengths, and bore sizes. From there, the compression ratios have a nice spread, starting in the mid 9 to 1 range for boost and up to 11.5 to 1 for naturally aspirated or nitrous motors. We're going to get into the lineup in a bit, but first, let's look into some of the features that make Pro LS pistons so good. First off, the heart of a tough piston is the forging. With the Pro LS Pistons 2618 alloy forged aluminum was chosen for its ductility and crack resistance. Careful attention to the material thickness in the crown increases strength without a weight penalty. One area that wasn't pinned up were the corner radii. These were left large to increase strength in critical areas. So now that we know they're made of the best stuff, what are some of the other nice features? The link between the piston and the connecting rod is the wrist pin. Summit Pro LS pistons are designed around a two and a quarter inch pin length. There are several reasons for this. Pro LS pistons don't need to be notched to clear the reluctor ring and stroker applications. Forgings have a grain and cutting across it creates a weak spot that can allow a crack to start. To maximize pin and pin bore life, the pin boss span is moved inboard and captures the factory connecting rod small end perfectly. This reduces pin flex by putting it into shear rather than bending. The forced pin oilers lube the pins with every downstroke. The design maximizes bearing area for reduced pin bore wear. Lighter pistons and pins are the result. This takes tons of stress off the rods, the crank, and the block. All can be lighter. The result is less horsepower required to spin the rotating assembly up. What are some of the other measures that are used to strengthen a piston? The number one cause of piston failure is ring land breakage. When it's not from detonation, tight ring end gaps are normally to blame. When rings butt from excessive heat, they go wavy like a potato chip. The stress breaks the top or second ring land. What does Summit do about this? To maximize ring land thickness, ultra-modern ring packs are used. Anything you subtract from the ring groove thickness can be added to the ring lands. Top ring land thickness on Summit Pro LS pistons are a minimum of 275 thousandths and often 300 thousandths. The second land is a beefy 165 thousandths. What are some of the other important things we're looking for in a forged piston? Strength is important, but how do they hold up and how quiet are they compared to the forged pistons in a factory LS9 or LT4 engine? Summit spent a lot of time optimizing the piston skirt profile. They run at tight clearance with minimal piston rock when cold. They also have a premium skirt coating that allows them to be fit tighter. The benefits are increased piston stability, minimal wear, reduced weight, engineered in flexibility that won't stress the cylinder walls, a quieter piston, and an increase in ring seal for more power. So what's the secret behind this? When a piston is up to temperature, it's dealing with the heat of combustion at the top and relatively cool oil temperature at the bottom. The rings are bleeding off heat into the cylinder wall and water jacket to keep the piston from melting. To compensate for thermal expansion, the piston must have taper from top to bottom and cam or oval shape to compensate for the piston structure. Pro LS pistons have perfected the cam and taper required to ride perfectly in the bore. The Pro LS line also has stroker versions in boost and nitrous compression ratios. Stroker pistons are shorter, so extra care must be taken to keep them stable in the bores. How is this done? A stroker pulls the piston further down at bottom dead center. 
This reduces the amount of piston skirt that's riding in the bore. The key to stability at bottom dent center is ensuring the bottom of the piston skirt remains at full diameter and without taper. Any taper here creates a sharp edge that will quickly eat the piston skirts. Pro LS pistons raise the point at which taper is introduced higher than other pistons on the market. This ensures the piston will guide itself up the bore smoothly as it comes off bottom dead center. So far we've talked about strength and durability, and they also make more power. Pro LS piston rings are the very best quality available, but Summit has kept them priced affordably. The steel top ring makes them very durable yet low friction. They are perfectly round to ensure a full 360 degree seal around the cylinder. This is called light tight percentage. The Martin Siddick Ductile Napier second ring does an excellent job of controlling oil. This means the oil ring tension can be reduced, which reduces friction and increases power. The Pro LS piston grooves are precision machined for optimal ring contact and seal. The grooves must be very flat with a mirror-like finish. In addition, they are cut with a slight positive angle for better ring seal when the lands grow with thermal expansion. The valve reliefs and spherical dishes are designed to increase flow around the valves and enhance combustion. They also accommodate large solid roller camshafts. Summit Pro LS 4.8, 5.3, and 5.7 mid-compression pistons increase compression over half a point before milling the heads. A one-point increase in compression nets roughly another 4% increase in power. In the case of a 500 crank horsepower engine, that's another 20 horsepower for free. Better yet, that's from idle on up, meaning torque is up everywhere through the range. So now we know why they're good. What does this lineup look like? As you can see, Pro LS pistons are currently available for 4.8, 5.3, 5.7, 6.0, and 6.2 liter engines. You'll find pistons for a Gen 3 press fit, Gen 4 full floating, aftermarket 6125 rods with standard stroke, and a four inch stroker crank version as well. Each of these displacements had one or two different combustion chamber volumes. In the past, this made it hard to hit your target compression ratio. Summit spent a lot of time hitting just the right target volume, which often saves you the cost of milling the heads. Now let's talk about compression ratios for a little bit. We'll use the 5.3 liter pistons to illustrate. 4.8 and 5.3 liter engines came with flat tops and compression in the mid 9 to 1 range. By the time you put valve reliefs in them, compression is too low for a boost engine and far below what's desired for a naturally aspirated or nitrous engine running high octane pump gas. What's the answer? Summit has a small but very effective 2cc dome on these pistons that bump compression another half point into the 10 and a quarter to 1 compression range. Want more? 11 to 1 is as easy as milling the heads 30 thousandths of an inch. As you can see, each of the pistons are made in multiple bores for Gen 3, Gen 4, and aftermarket 6 and an eighth inch rods, and even a 4 inch stroker version. Another cool fact, these pistons come in standard and 5 thousandths over bores, meaning you often save the cost of boring the block. The 5.7 liter LS1 and LS6 pistons are built much the same way. Full floating rods were never used in the LS1 or LS6, so these are designed around a press fit rod or an aftermarket 6 and an eighth inch rod. If you happen to have a set of Gen 4 rods laying around you want to use, no problem. Just hone the small end out a couple thousandths. Summit machined in circlip grooves for you and includes clips just in case you're running a Gen 4 rod. Again, these also come in a 4-inch stroker version at slightly higher compression because they were found in lighter weight Corvettes, F-bodies, and the 2004 GTO. The 6-liter pistons are a little different. The LQ4 and LQ9 were Gen 3 cathedral ports, but Gen 4s came in cathedral port and rectangular port versions. No problem with a Pro LS piston. The valve reliefs are slightly slotted to accommodate either one. This means you can swap heads later down the line if you wanted to. These larger displacement engines don't need a domed piston to hit a reasonable compression ratio, so a flat top with valve reliefs is used for the mid-compression versions. 
The 6.2 liter pistons also have dual valve reliefs to accommodate cathedral and rectangular port heads. Because 6.2 liter engines were most often found in cars, a 2cc dome on the mid compression versions gets them started with 11 to 1 compression. Head milling can easily take that to 11 and a half to 1. We hope you've enjoyed learning about Summit's new Pro LS pistons. The next time you're building an engine, be sure to call us up and we'll quickly help you dial in your combination. Thanks for watching.